Welcome to Reading Key, the fastest way to teach reading, period. Use the Classroom Reading List program with a room full of students to ensure students advance one year in one year's time. Large letters allow excellent visibility across the room. Words taught from most common to least common. Organized by vowel sounds. Vocabulary and fluency have been shown to be the keys to achieving maximum comprehension when reading books and are best taught as separate exercises. Richard Pressinger will teach a list of seven vocabulary words to an eager fourth grade classroom. This will be the most educational and entertaining 20 minutes you'll ever spend teaching reading vocabulary and fluency to your students. I'm going to show you a different way of learning some words. All right? Okay, first off, who knows the sound of red A in all these words? A. It's short A. What is, raise your hand if you know what short A says. You know what short A says? Here, Mr. Pressinger is teaching step one, vowel sound practice. In this step, you'll discuss the colored vowel sound in each word. Each word contains the short A vowel sound, which is color-coded in red. Grouping the words along the same vowel sound not only makes it easier for the students to learn the words, but also to memorize the sound itself. Short A says, ah. I didn't point at you. You want to wear these? No. Right. Short A says, short A says, Come on, speed up here. Short A says ah. Very good. All right. I got a question for you. Yeah. You think you're so smart. Hold on. If short A says ah, what does DA say? Don't yeah. read any. Just stop at the color. You stop at the vowel sign. Raise your hand quietly. Quote looking for a quiet person. DA says what? Step two is stop at the vowel sound. Have your students only read up to the colored vowel sound. In the word damp, your student only makes the sound of the letters DA. This step is miraculous when it comes to helping students figure out unknown reading words. If short A says A, D A says, what do you think? Yeah. Very good. All right, very good. What about M A says? Yeah. Very good. Raise your hand. T R A, because T R A says like tur, right? Tur. It's almost like a chur sound, isn't it? T R A says what? Tra. What? Tra. Tra. Very good. You stop at that color. You put on the brakes. Ah! You stop right there at the red. You don't go any further. Don't try to read the whole word. Okay. What does RA say? Raise your hand. Yes. Pra. Okay. And PA says? Pa. Say pa. Pa. Ah. Pa. Okay. Pa. All right. Step three, read words to the class. Here, the teacher reads the words, stressing each sound. Okay. So remember, MP is mm, right? Damp. Ma. What does CH say? Ch say chocolate chicken. Ch chocolate, chocolate chicken. Okay, match, right? What's this word? Tra and C K is right. Track, okay. P is trap. And this one, rat. Here's a test, a test question. A pattern, like triangle, square, triangle, square. Okay. All right. Oh, yeah. What's this word down here? Tricky word. Travel. Okay. Now, I'm going to say up to the color, and you say the whole word after me. Now we practice step four, which is teacher-student callout. Teacher sends the sound made up to the colored letter. Students then say the entire word aloud when the teacher points to the class. I'm gonna get ready. When I point to you, don't say it until I point to you, right? Da. Uh, uh. No, you say damp. Oh. Okay, so I'll say da, and you say the whole word, damp. You point to nobody. Okay, I'm, I'm just pointing out. Point out like that, okay. Da. Damp. Ma. Ma. I didn't point yet. You gotta wait till I point out there. Okay. Ma. Ma. Tra. 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 Ra. Ra. I didn't point. I tricked you. <laughs> I still think you need to wear these things. Yeah, I need to wear them. Okay. Ra. Rabbit. Pa. Pattern. What's this word? Pattern. Is it? Pattern. Pin turn? Pattern. Pattern. Oh, pattern. Okay, pattern. And this last word is travel. Now we're going to play a game called copycat. I'm going to say whatever I want to say, and you copy exactly what I say, okay? Step five is the copycat exercise. Students repeat every word, sound, etc., said by the teacher. The copycat exercise is lots of fun for the students. <laughs> <laughs> da, damp. Short A says ah. Short A says ah. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, ah, ah. Ma match. 
Mouse. Trap. 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 The mouse. The mouse. Eek. Eek. Ra rabbit. Ra rabbit. Pa pattern. Pa pattern. Did you hear me? Did you hear me? Stop with the vowel sound. Stop with the vowel sound. When I can't read a word. When I can't read a word. Travel. Travel. Damp. Damp. Match. Match. Track. Track. Trap. Trap. Rabbit. Rabbit. Pattern. 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 Travel. Travel. Did you hear me? Did you hear me? I sure did. I sure did. I'm so smart. I'm so smart. To learn how. To learn how. Get a good job. Get a good job. So you can have a good life. So you have a good life. That's why I'm in school. That's why I'm in school. I should have known. I should have known. I shouldn't hit myself. I shouldn't hit myself. Okay. Okay. All right. When I do that, you don't copy me anymore. That's what you got to teach the kids. By the way, use the finger across the throat signal to tell students you've completed the copycat exercise and are ready to begin the next step, which, if you can believe it, is even more fun. Step six is the boo-boo catcher game. Here, you simply read the list words from top to bottom. However, you'll be mispronouncing one of the words while doing this. Your student's job is to raise their hand when you say the word incorrectly. This process requires greatly elevated concentration on the student's part, therefore accelerating the learning process even more. As you can imagine, students love finding mistakes made by the teacher. This is called boo-boo catcher. This is a lot of fun. Boo-boo catcher. Okay, this is, come on. Put your hands on your desk. Now, I'm going to say the words, but I'm going to make a mistake on one of them. You don't know which one I'm going to make the mistake on. I want you to raise your hand when I make the mistake. I'm going to try to trick you, so it's not going to be easy. Don't raise your hand if I say the word correctly, because you watch. I will fool you. Be careful. Is there any word you want to ask before I start this that you don't know? Because you're going to have to know all these words before I do it. Yes? Um, want to ask me a word? No. This one here? Pattern. So this one here, travel. I want to try something. Spell travel. Well, I'm going to kind of cover it up and back and forth. No, no, no. I want to see, I want to see if you can spell travel. Okay, there it is. Tr spell it. You can look at it. Look at it. Look at it. I'm moving my hand back and forth. What's that word? Travel. Is it in your brain now? Okay, it's in your brain. Okay. Put your hands on your desk. Boo-boo catch your time. Raise your hand when I make a mistake. Last chance. Any more questions on words before I start? No. All right. You think you think you're smart? You know them all. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. You watch. I will trick you. You watch. Damp. March. Track. Oh man. You think I can't read? What? It's match. Match. Yeah. Right. Very good. Okay. One more time. Yeah, Fastest time. Damp. Match. Track. Trap. Rubber. Pattern. <laughs> Oh, but he said it right. Oh, he did. Did I say him right? Yep. No. no. He said, he, he said what? He said rubble. I said rubble. It's, what is it? <laughs> Rabbit. Doggone. All right, one more time. <laughs> Damn. Match. Track, trap, rubber, party. Okay. You said. <laughs> what? You said party in this pattern. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, You're right. Very good. Step seven is timed reading. Time several students on saying the list, then simply write their time on the board. Now that you guys think you're so smart, who thinks they can say the whole words top to bottom, no mistakes, perfect, all the way down, top to bottom? Now that you've learned the words, you're now reading prose on these words. I've got a stopwatch here. All right, here we go. Go ahead. Death, match, track, trap, rabbit, pattern, travel. 2.8. Give her a hand. That was actually good. That was good. 2.8. Who thinks they can say it faster than that? Me. That's very good. Quiet. You're actually very quiet. You want to try? Right there. And these are hard words. You want to ask any words before you start? Uh, no. Do you know this one? This is party, isn't it? That part. No, oh. Okay. This is this is turkey, isn't it? Travel. Travel. Okay. I'm just checking. All right. All right. Stand back a little bit for me there. Okay. All right. Whenever you're ready, you say the first word. I'll start timing you. Yep. Match. Track. Trap. Rabbit. Pattern. Travel. Two point four. That was good too. Oh, we got a have a new leader here. Spell your name for me. Spell your name. Two point four. Whoa. That is beautiful. 
Let's see, we've got a, a girl and a guy. Let's go back to a girl again. Let's, you want to try it? That mouse track, track, rabbit, pattern, track. What's that say? 2.9. Two, actually, 2.09. That is very good. That's 2.1. You just missed beating two seconds, by the way. Spell your name for me. No. Can someone please beat two seconds? Yeah. I think you can. All right, stand right here. Yeah. Want to ask me any word before you start? Do you want to ask her any word before you start? Okay. All right, reset my watch here. Start whenever you are ready. That mad track, trap, rabbit, pattern, trouble. What is that? One point seven. No way. One point, give me five, one point seven five, nice job. Man. Spell your name for me. J-O-E-L. J-O-E-L, 1.7. Wow, that is really, really fast. I'm going to have you teaching this stuff to everybody. That's great. Who else wants to try it? That's it. This completes the Reading Key Classroom List program. As an excellent follow-up to the classroom list, we recommend you pass out the Reading Key Vocabulary Worksheet activity to all students. This 20-minute independent activity parallels the same words in the classroom list and provides additional practice in word definition, alphabetical order, word riddles, and sentence writing. Our higher-level vocabulary worksheets also include fill-in-the-blank exercises in social studies, geography, and science. While your students are engaged in this activity, you can use this time to walk around the class and visit your lower-performing students for a little more one-on-one -on -one time to help with word mastery. In fact, for those several students in every classroom who routinely have difficulty learning the words in the classroom list, we highly recommend you spend five minutes with these students using our student list activity. This unique one-on-one -on -one learning tool can be used with all lower performing students for making tremendous gains in very little time. Learn more about this powerful tool in the student list video.